Alright, this is the first episode of a brand new series called Level Up, where uh, you'll hear me um, commentating um, on a boss battle that forces you to um, be uh, better. It forces you to upgrade your skills to a point where you literally are fighting on a completely different level than you had before. Um, so, this um, is the start of this series. Level Up, Episode 1. Um, we're going to jump this off with the DJ Octavio fight in Splatoon. Um, if you guys like this uh, video, uh, this, this pilot episode, if you will, um, I'll continue with other bosses from other games. So let's get this started after the cut. All right, um, here we go. This is the start of this fight. Um, the fight with DJ Octavio starts out relatively easy. As you can see, um, you know, uh, this is basically the, the beginning, the opening portion of this fight. And uh, you have to use the ink in order to increase your mobility. Um, now, believe it or not, up until this point in the game, you haven't really had to do this um, too much. Um, I mean, the first boss fight, kind of, but you really didn't have to do it more than this. But now, you really are having to use this. And also, um, this boss is kind of tough. Um, he throws his fists at you, you have to shoot it back at him by hitting it with your with your gun in order to move him back. Then, when he uh, gets to a certain point, he does his desperation move, which he shoots a ink bomb uh, missile thing at you, which you have to shoot with your uh, splat hero blaster. So, do this three times, and you ink the heck out of him, and the next phase of the battle begins. Every time you hit one of those uh, jet points, you uh, you save. And now it's gotten more severe. Now he's launching both of his fists, and he's shooting a killer whale at you. That is basically um, only going to get worse the battle goes. Um, two fists, and you can hear him when he. Prepares to shoot to shoot his two fists at you. It's very, uh, it's it's a distinct sound. So basically, you're you're learning on the fly, situational awareness, and um, combined with ink, knowing when to use the ink, using the ink for mobility. It's everything that you've learned combined into one. If you're fighting this battle correctly, you literally want to be hitting him. You want to constantly be attack, uh, attacking him. Constantly moving, constantly attacking him, and constantly aware of what's going on around you. See, so like that. Um, hitting him with both... Um, with giving him both fists. Now he's going to use his desperation attack, which I didn't even try to send back to him because I was trying to dodge his killer whale. This is only going to get worse, by the way. I don't know if you noticed this, but his weapon has sunglasses on, which is kind of an interesting touch. And now the battle has gone to another section, and I've hit a checkpoint. Let's 
So basically, his attacks are becoming more more fre frequent. He's collecting. I'm collecting right now. Um, defensive abilities. He's now shooting um, ink eggs, Octarian ink eggs, which will spawn Octarian enemies. Right now, it'll spawn little weak enemies, but as the fight goes on, they'll spawn, like, powerful, like, the most powerful of the generic Octarian boss enemies. The two, the two tentacle boss enemies. This fight, I never use any of the special weapons because, uh, frankly speaking, there was so much going on that I really didn't want to, didn't even want to try and aim it and try and use it. However, I do use environmental items like those uh, those ink balloons that you hit and they explode in the color of ink, like that. Intensity increases with each and every moment. But basically, right now, I want to get him to shoot two fists at me and knock them back at him. And by doing this, I can basically um, move him on to the next stage of the fight. And the final little bit of armor. And clearly, I waited too long on that one, but that's okay. Did, took no damage, did absolutely nothing. And now I'm going to use, now I'm, I'm, I'm about to, I'm about to do things, shit's about to get real after this last attack, because he's going to get pissed off. Oh yeah. Some people have been saying that this boss is really, really hard. Um, I'm not going to say the boss is really, really hard. I'll say that the boss utilizes a pattern that we haven't seen in a video game for many, many years. We haven't seen bosses like this in a long time. What I mean by that is a boss that basically... Um, bosses back in the day were like this, where they would be utilizing skills, like the basics you had to know in order to get to this boss, but they forced you to utilize skills that you hadn't had to utilize. Like, this boss forces you to do things that you haven't really been doing for quite some time. So shooting him, shooting his fist back at him, collecting another... At this point, I've maxed out my stacks of, uh, of uh, armor, but...
So here's where I'm going to make a mistake. I'm going to get in too close to him, and it's going to prevent me from defeating him faster. Um, basically, the key of defeating DJ Octavio is you have to control the space. Now, this boss forces you to level up because, essentially speaking, the same skills that you're using to control the space and control how you, how this, the pacing of this battle, you're going to have to use these same skills in uh, the online portion of this game, the online multiplayer. Believe it or not. Um, so yeah, if you can beat this boss, you can do the online multiplayer. You will get it perfectly. You will get it down pat. And now he's going to use his desperation attack and shoot a giant rocket at him with sunglasses on. Because apparently, rockets need sunglasses. They need to know that they are allowed. They need to be ready. There he goes with his rocket. His rocket with shades on. His, you know. Here's where I figure out, okay, I gotta control the space, go back a little further. And now we're in the final phrase. Um, and this is where we hear some of like the best, the best, the best final boss, some of the best final boss theme music I've heard in a long time. Um, where Callie and Mari start singing the Squid Sisters, like perhaps one of the best Squid Sisters songs I've heard in this game. We're in the final phrase. Um, the platform narrows, the frequency of his attacks increases. Even as this fight, as this portion of the fight goes on, he gets faster and faster and faster with his attacks. You have to really know what you're doing, be aware of the space around you, use the ink for dodging, be aware of what's going on around you. It's 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 a lot of it's a lot of stuff going on. But I can take it. I've got the rhythm. <laughs> if you will. slowly driving him back to this last portion, where basically, um, my mobility is going to be greatly restricted, so this is going to be come down to timing and, and spatial awareness of what's going on around me. It's going to be tough, but I think I can pull it off. Gonna, this is gonna be the final, the final part of this, of this, of this fight, and I think he's gonna be. Shit's about to get real. Um, fortunately, at this point, understanding the timing is gonna make it easier, if you will. And boom, got him. Yep. What a great way to end a final, final fight. And this was a fight where I had to level up. I 
had to become better, stronger, faster. Boom! Level up, bitches. All right, this concludes the first episode of Level Up. Um, I'll be basically, if uh, you guys uh, like this content, I will be doing more episodes of Level Up. Um, might even do some RPGs and stuff like that. Probably will do Breath of Fire. <laughs> Breath of Fire 1 and Breath of Fire 2. Um, although, I mean... Breath of Fire will be interesting because it starts off really hard and as the game goes along it gets you get the game gets easier as you go along. <laughs> the difficulty curve is very high in the beginning and then as you go through the game it gets way easier until by the end of the game the final boss is almost a joke. Um, so after that, uh, thank you for watching this episode of Level Up. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, Thank you and good day.